For many TSP investors, 2022 was a painful year. In this video, we're going to recap last year's performance of the different TSP funds and review how they compared to the returns of the general stock and bond markets. We're also going to highlight some of the contributing factors to last year's performance. That's coming up, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jarrell Harvey with Fedway Financial, and this is The Money Briefing. On this channel, we cover topics related to personal finance, federal benefits, and retirement planning. So if you find this video helpful, please consider sharing and subscribing. Unless you were 100% invested in the G Fund, 2022 was a pretty difficult year for TSP investors across the board. Market downturns occur periodically, and 2022 represents one of those periods. Various factors can cause the market to fall. In 2022, the two biggest catalysts for declines in the U.S. market were inflation and interest rates. During the last year, prices increased at the fastest pace in 40 years, and inflation briefly rose above 9%, which forced the Federal Reserve to aggressively raise interest rates. Rising rates tend to have a negative effect on the prices of both stocks and bonds. Before discussing the returns of the TSP funds, let's briefly review the returns of the general market to provide some additional context to our conversation. The S&P 500, which typically represents the broad stock market, finished 2022 down 19.44%, which marked its worst year since the 2008 financial crisis. 2022 also was the seventh worst year for the index going all the way back to 1929. The thing that makes last year even more painful for investors is the fact that bonds also got hammered in 2022. Traditionally, bonds do well when the stock market falls, but the broad benchmark for the U.S. bond market was down 13%. We also saw that these types of negative returns played out in most of the TSP funds. In 2022, the C fund, which closely matches the S&P 500, was down 18.13%. And the S fund, which consists of mostly small cap stocks, had the biggest drop of all TSP funds at 26.26%. U.S. stocks were not alone in getting rocked by the market. The I fund, which is made up of international stocks, was down 13.94%. As for TSP bond funds, the F fund did slightly better than its benchmark, but it still declined by 12.83%. The G fund was the only fund to finish the year in positive territory, and it was up 2.98%. Given that most of the core TSP funds had a brutal year, many of the TSP life cycle funds also got roughed up during 2022. The following chart shows the 2022 returns for life cycle funds. As you can see, the L income fund was down 2.7%, while the 2030 fund fell about 10.3%. If you go further out on the spectrum, the 2055, 2060, and 2065 funds all declined by at least 17.6%. Before you go park everything in the G fund, last year's performance snapped a three-year winning streak for the C, S, and I funds. And when you consider the three-year, five-year, and 10-year returns, the C fund has strongly outperformed the G fund. For example, the five-year return for the C fund is 9.39%, compared to 2.09% for the G fund. And the 10 year return is 12.57% versus 2.08%. There's no doubt that 2022 was a rough year for most investors, but the market is long-term. And if that is your approach, 2022 can be viewed with a larger lens and things might not look so bad. If you received any value from this video, please click the like button. You can also subscribe to our channel to get more content like this. If you have any comments or questions about the TSP, federal benefits, or retirement planning, you can add them in the comment section below. Or you can email us at ask at fedwayfinancial.com. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next Money Briefing.